I'm Jamie Whitmore, and for many years I raced as a professional triathlete and mountain biker. Then I was diagnosed in 2008 with a rare form of cancer. After the first surgery, I became paralyzed in my lower left leg. They told me I would never run again. I'd have a difficult time walking, and then I'd probably never ride a bike. Two and a half months later, the tumor came back, the same size, which was the size of a grapefruit. I started to get really sick again after that surgery, but lo and behold, it was because I was pregnant with twins. <laughs> <laughs> so I would say for two years of my life, 2008, and even once the boys came, it was just a, a lot of struggles of just not knowing if I was going to live or die, not knowing what I was going to do, the loss of a job. It was a, a really difficult time in my life. I would say this journey that I embarked upon six years ago, the number one question that I always get is, how did you get through it? What kept you strong? How did you keep going forward? And my number one answer is always my faith. The day that I was saved and my life was given to God, my purpose here is for Him. I live life according to how He wants me to live it. And sometimes, you know, I want what I want. Every human does. But God reminds me that I'm here for Him. I'm part of His army. I'm to do what He wants me to do. So how can I get mad at Him when He's so clearly using me for the greater good of His kingdom? And so often I try to turn that around and I look at more of, I'm honored He chose me. He knows I can do this. He gives me the strength and He knows ultimately that I'll get through it. So have I ever gotten angry or, or mad? No, I, I, I really haven't. I just feel incredibly blessed, and I try to look at the joy in every situation. As a follower of Christ, I've, I've always tried to, you know, live close to Him, but I think it's just age and circumstances and every obstacle and everything that's been thrown my way that has helped me have a deeper relationship with Him. I've grown closer to Him. Some people, I, th I believe, in this circumstances might turn their back on God. And, and for me, it's just been drawing closer to Him. You know, having a stronger faith, having more faith. Maybe I started with that little mustard seed and now I have a whole bottle of mustard seeds. You know, so I'm just, I'm moving mountains. But ultimately, I know that every struggle that I have only draws me closer to, to needing Him and wanting Him and serving Him. As a para-athlete, God has blessed me with a new opportunity, or as I like to put it, a new challenge. I race with a lot of people with similar disabilities, similar stories, who are maybe a little more negative, a little more angry with God. And, and here I am, bouncy Jamie, very excited, yay, God is good. And, but it's a struggle because people there you know, they, don't, they don't believe in God. They, they are very unhappy with what has happened to them and still, I often think, still wish that they weren't disabled. And, and so every time I go to camp, every time I go to a race or I'm around them, it's a constant challenge to be the light and, and be bold, which is what God calls us to do, and, and just speak truth and know that God's word is truth and this is what I believe no matter how they're going to treat me. So it's a tough assignment, but someone's got to do it. <laughs> I would say my greatest joy, my greatest blessing in life has been the birth of, of my, my two boys. If I hadn't had cancer, if everything hadn't happened exactly how it happened, I wouldn't have them. I'd still be racing, I'd you know, still be traveling around the world, but I wouldn't have Ryder and Christian. And they ultimately have already in the four years of their life taught my husband and I so much just how unconditional love exists. Like every time I look at them, I'm in such amazement at what a miracle they were. My best advice to people is Try to look at the positive in every negative. Know that God will never forsake you. God is always going to be there, but you have to draw on His strength. Oh my soul.